dominance, if you've ever wanted to get into the mind of a subtype to better understand the submissive experience, this is your chance because today I'm giving you radical insight into the care submissives really want from their dominance so you can show up in your dynamic with an unprecedented level of authority and effectiveness. Last week, we opened this series by asking the subtypes in my audience, what does a good dominant mean to you? Instead of the angry and aggressive dominant, what do submissives want? Instead of the sex crazed dominant, what do they crave? Instead of the controlling dominant, what are subtypes looking for? Instead of the dismissive dominant, what do they seek? Instead of the narcissistic powerhouse type dominant, what do submissives find attractive? And instead of the covertly manipulative dominant, what do they need to freely offer up their devotion? Over the next six weeks, this series endeavors to answer those questions starting today by contrasting the stereotypically aggressive and cold dominant with the caring dominant that submissives really want. If you're a regular viewer, you have likely heard me refer to BDSM as the kinky buffet, meaning that your experience in kink can and should be exactly suited to your particular needs and appetites and that of your relationship or dynamic. Well, this kinky buffet also includes styles of domination. In fact, this is represented in dominant titles such as soft dom, daddy dom, mommy dom, and right on the nose, caregiver. These all refer to a nurturing and caring style of domination, the primary trait submissive seek. They want to feel cared for in every aspect of the submissive experience. They want to feel compassion and empathy from their dominant and receive encouragement and praise when they're serving well when they're providing their obedience, and when they're demonstrating their devotion. Because dominance, when your silence can hold a submissive, your words can make or break them. So, how can a dominant show more care in their dynamic? Well, if you want the full guide with 30 personal development strategies for dominance with five practical action steps for every trait we're discussing in this series, check out my high demand dominant bundle on Patreon. It also includes my new resource submissive sentiments, which will give you over two dozen powerful insights into the submissive experience in submissives own words. But for today's purposes, I have found that one of the biggest obstacles to showing care is a lack of emotional intelligence. Physical and financial needs are fairly easy to meet with adequate resources and require no presence and little ongoing investment emotionally and energetically. Showing emotional care is often an entirely different story. Emotional intelligence involves being present and aware of one's own emotions, as well as those with whom one is in conversation. Slow down, leave the phone in the other room, get present and notice the other party's feelings and overall energy in the room. Does the atmosphere feel tense or relaxed? Does your partner seem open and happy or closed off and triggered? Are there unspoken wounds or anxieties between the two of you that should be resolved first? These are all things to consider. And during conversation, you really want to empathize with your submissive's perspective, their feelings, and their experience. And this means viewing the situation, conversation, or experience through their perspective. This is called empathy. And I want you to think of empathy like a pair of color tinted glasses, okay? If your partner goes through life looking through a rose colored hue and your lens is a relaxing blue, you must remove your glasses and put on those of your partners 
to truly empathize and reach a place of understanding that equips you to offer emotional support in the way that they need. But too often, we aren't as effective as we could because although we may put on our partner's lens to empathize, we fail to remove our glasses first. We don't step out of our opinion and our paradigm. We don't momentarily abandon our ideology to examine our partner's perspective without judgment or bias. Whether it be from a place of pride or an act of self-protection, our blue lenses remain. And instead of seeing our partner's reality accurately, we now have a purple lens that further disconnects us from our partner's experience. That's why being a caring dominant requires emotional intelligence. It requires empathy. And emotional intelligence honors the emotional experience of the other. It honors this at a level more than a desire to prove one's power, show one's skill, or substantiate one's superiority. In other words, before allowing ego to run the show, ask yourself dominance. Do you want to be right or do you want your submissive's devotion? Because the latter will often be sacrificed on the altar of the former. Now, to be clear, this is not about violation of any rules or rituals or protocols or boundaries within your dynamic. I'm talking about if your submissive brings something to the table, it's a matter of feeling, it's a matter of perspective. Instead of staying just doggedly in your lane, in your perspective, in your paradigm, where you just dismiss the submissive's feelings, dismiss the submissive's perspective, you actually go, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna look at what they have to say. I'm at least gonna listen and look at it. I'm gonna take my blue glasses off. I'm gonna put on their pink glasses and I'm gonna look around and see how they're looking at this perspective, situation, whatever, through this pink lens. This has nothing to do with boundary violation, disobedience. This is a very different thing. But developing this level of empathy and emotional intelligence is really just the first step. In my new high demand dominant bundle, I have four more practical action steps that will empower you to show up in your dynamic with a deep level of care and compassion for your submissive, attracting them to you like never before. Just go over to patreon.com slash alexerotica to get instant access to this amazing new resource. And be sure you're subscribed and have those notifications turned on so you won't miss next week's video where I'm teaching you how to encourage profound levels of growth and expansion from your submissive.